What's up everybody, Mark from PCClassesOnline.com here today. I want to show you one of my favorite features that's built right into the Mac operating system that you might not even know is there, but once you discover it, I think you're going to love it and you're going to use it every day just like I do. It's called Spaces or Multiple Desktops. Let me show you how it works and why I dig it so much. Now, if you're like me, you've probably got all kinds of windows or applications open at any given time. For example, here I've got a browser window, and then underneath I've also got a pages document, and then I almost always have Photoshop open. So you've got all these different things, and there's only a couple different ways to get around. In this case, I would have to drag it out of the way and then click on another window to bring it to the front. Or if you're a little more sophisticated, you might be using the keyboard shortcut of Command Tab to get to something and bring it forward. And that's okay, but I think that multiple desktops is a much more elegant and efficient solution. There are two ways to get to it. You can either use the F3 button on your keyboard to bring up what's called mission control, or you can use a gesture on your trackpad, which is either four fingers up or three fingers up, depending on what you have set in your preferences. In my case, it's four fingers up, so I'm gonna do a four finger swipe up, and it's gonna show me what's called mission control. And then here it shows the three applications or windows that I currently have open, and it shows a single desktop like we just saw a minute ago with all of the things stacked on top of each other. But here's where it gets cool. If you move a little to the right, a little plus button is going to come out. And if you click the plus button, it's going to drag out another desktop here. I'm going to go even farther and add another one. And you can add quite a few there. And I'm going to take each one of these windows and I'm going to drag them to their own desktop like this. And now if I click on desktop two, for example, I'll go ahead and bring this up here a little bit. All I have to do now is either swipe four fingers left or four fingers right, and I can get to that individual application where it has its own workspace and doesn't have to compete with anything else just by swiping left or right using four fingers. You can also use a keyboard shortcut, which is control and left or right arrows to get to whatever item you want. If you wanna close one of the desktops, that's just as easy as well. Just simply swipe four fingers back up again, hover over one of the desktops, and an X will appear. If you click the X on each one of them, all of your items will be right back down here where you had them to begin with, and they're all back on one desktop again. And that's the basics of how to use multiple desktops. As always, it would be a huge help to us if you click that thumbs up button and like this video. You can also leave a comment or a question below if you like. Don't forget to check out our website at pcclassesonline.com and go join the conversation over on our Facebook page. Thanks again for coming. Class dismissed.